From League Safe World Headquarters, it's fantasy football almost daily. With Paul Charchia, Matt Harrison, Christian Peterson, and Brian Johnson. Charles Johnson caught a, a nice long touchdown uh, for the Vikings. Right now, he's running ahead of Laquan Treadwell. If you had the choice, and is your probable, it's still early, but your probable starter week one is Charles Johnson over Laquan Treadwell. If you're going to draft either one of those guys, regardless of average draft position, and there are like twelve rounds between them, yeah, um, who would you who would you rather draft? Laquan Treadwell, Charles Johnson. Matt? I, I think if the Vikings were really satisfied with Charles Johnson, they're not drafting Laquan Treadwell in the draft last year because they have they have some decent receivers on roster. Adam Thielen's a guy who came up from the practice squad and is getting more and more run uh, and and did throughout last year. And they're just there's buzz about him in camp all over the place. And they still have Jarius Wright. They still have Stephon Diggs. If they were happy with Charles Johnson, they're probably not drafting Laquan Treadwell with the amount of depth they have. They still have Cordero Patterson there. He may or may not be on the team uh, when the regular season starts. But um, I thought we saw. I think we saw the upside with Charles Johnson too in 2014, where he had like a three or four game stretch where he had two touchdowns in there. Mm-hmm. He had one game over 100 yards, one game over 80 yards. And we didn't see that at all last year. And the Vikings needed it last year. They had Mike Wallace doing nothing. And Charles Johnson couldn't find the field. He, he would say, uh, if he were here to defend his last season, that he was hurt all year long, which we didn't necessarily know as much about, but he was hampered all year long. I don't think you quite answered the question. I'm I, looking for one name. Did you? I, I, I'd, take, would you I'd take Treadwell over take Johnson Treadwell over because Johnson. there's massive upside, and he's a round one pick. Yeah, okay. I, I think that's the key here, and you you hit on it that we've we've seen Charles Johnson's upside, and it's just okay. Yeah, he had he had a good run a couple of years ago at the end of the season, and, and it seemed to have a good rapport with Teddy Bridgewater. But uh, neither one of these guys is is going to be the number one wide receiver there. That's going to be Stefan Diggs, and I just think if there's one guy who has the potential to help you down the line in the second half of the season it's Treadwell as more of a well just a more explosive player you know better upside in the in the red zone and the first round rookie that they picked with obviously with the idea of taking over on the other side of Stefan Diggs so I think it's just a matter of time before Treadwell gets in there I don't know if either one of these guys are going to make a huge impact but I think Treadwell has a better chance all right of doing well that. let's let's go here then same round ADP Stefan Diggs and Treadwell right now do we we're all on Diggs right Absolutely. I'd rather have Diggs I think I'd rather have Diggs too yep. Yep. yeah Treadwell's going to be a good goal line receiver um and I think he'll be I think he, he could he, there's a really good chance he will lead the team in touchdowns but receptions yards and just overall safety clearly goes to Stefan Diggs who's, who's the number one for the moment for the Vikings